Arabs went to despotism, that's curious. I don't know why they would sacrifice their only major benefit, really, playing the Arabs. see any great opportunities for the spy at the moment. Might have to babysit these warriors a little bit. Picking up 11 culture per turn, so it'll just get me my great person a little sooner. Not a big deal. But it helps. The Arabs are picking up culture really fast. I mean, uh, tech really fast. They don't normally go crazy like that. I might just use him as a scout for now. I don't really have any big plans for the spy at the moment. Don't see any great people to steal or anything like that. Keep my eyes on the Romans, though. So, with this boat, pretty much just looking for uh, revenue streams. Not much else. Uh, let's see here. Got 128 gold, so that's good. We're just trying to get to Republic and just start spreading like cancer, so. Maybe something hidden up there. Put this guy right on top of this hill just to make sure nothing sneaks by and pulls a fast one on me. Just put a little city there. is huge. May even consider doing some island expansion just because it's right there. Easier to defend too. Computer doesn't get too froggy with the island uh, expansions until very late game. Oh. So these guys aren't even veterans. So I may need to regroup. I go use that spy to go help out with the speed of my expansion, actually. Once in a while you'll get... Um, Once in a while, you'll hit these huts and get a technology, so let's see what happens here. Huh. That's going to help with expansion a lot, so let's go get that.
Let's go say hi to the Americans. Oh, they don't see me. Don't forget to change his back. So I'll get six per turn here, so I won't waste anything. Let's hold off on that. Oh man. Oh. That's a lot of gold. Well, I'm gonna have to wait for my lookout, so I'll just put him here. Hmm. No veterans. Barely any fighting. Alright, one more turn, and we'll go Republic. So we got the Americans, the Arabs, and the Romans, and one mystery, one mystery sieve. So we already have currency, so we can't research that. <laughs> Literacy will be pointless because I get that for free. Um, question is what to research now. Uh, may not be an easy answer there. Just pottery, there's no real... I don't even really need any of those at the moment. So I don't know what the Americans are up to, but I don't like it, whatever it is. <laughs> Time to pump out as many cities as I can. Um, And push them to the northwest first.
So now I have my literacy bonus. I may want to recheck uh, my tree and see what opened up. This is a nice spot for for uh, sea tiles. Always a good thing. And then your trees. Man, see the Chinese are so good. They start out with four, four population. See how many settlers we can get out of here. This is a decent spot. As you can see, I have a lot of settlers. So this is good. Just keeping uh, my eyes open out here. Not much else going on. Might as well form these guys up. Yet another spy. Uh, let's see. The guys on this island probably will end up getting sold, just so I can make some more settlers. Uh, very nice. Down to one population here. A lot of cities already, six cities. Looks like I picked up pottery, forgot to change. Um, democracy. Democracy is good. Sometimes it's good to go masonry irrigation. It's not the best. Um, it's better gen generally just better to go for democracy. Um, especially in these cases when I have a lot of funding, a lot of money. So I'll go for it. And what you really got to think about at this point is where are you going to build? the wonder that you need to build. And it's 150 production, so it's pretty significant. That's actually something I should probably think about right now. And uh, figure out which city this is going to be in. 
So what you gotta do is obviously just look for a good spot with good production. Shindao. There's a lot of productivity. Alright. Uh, as you can see, like, here's a pretty cool spot. You only get, you have one, two, three, four trees. That's about the best spot I see. So that's probably a good choice. Obviously, you're going to sacrifice technology in that city. Um, but that's the kind of the point. A little worried. You know, you can probably possibly take advantage of that hill at some point, too. Um, if I go here, it's two hills. But I think I'm going to stick with the trees just because it's easier. And the important thing is you probably don't want to expand from there. You want that to be a powerful city, you know. So let's just put it right there. Pretty surefire strategy. And then just move them all to trees. And do not expand from there. Uh, we'll just let it build up for now. And just rush another settler. Might as well move him to the hill. I could actually squeeze quite a few cities out here. It's kind of a junky spot though, so I might just move here. This isn't too bad. And then run the other guy to the south. I don't want to overload him too much. Getting low on gold. Uh, so this guy's going over here to the south. I have to do something with those settlers. Sell this guy. Sell this guy too. Later, man. Uh, and let's see what's over here. He may have some money here. Nope. Uh, let's see if we got any expansion opportunities. One right here. You want to pick good spots for your cities. You at least want like three sea tiles. Four is even better. Um, otherwise, you're just not making good use of your settlers. Uh, let's hopefully we get something decent here on the next turn. 